Kingdom greetings everyone. God bless you. Welcome to the Queen Arise Network. The sixth uh, heading or just a short inspiration on recipe for success. Uh, since the launch of the network uh, shared since end of July or mid-July on the recipe for success. And um, this topic was birthed out of my own experiences doing business as a kingdom woman, first of all, and also as a woman in the industry, as an entrepreneur, and the challenges that I've faced just birth some nuggets and inspirations that I think would help my focus is ministering to the women through this Queen Arise Network. But what I share certainly will impact all communities, male and female alike, because of the nature of what I'm called to do. But I really want to empower and inspire, educate everyone, but really focus on motivating women just to stay the course because good success comes with pain. But painful success is something that brings great reward. And so in my sixth teaching or series on the recipe for success, um, I post a nugget earlier this week about good success and um, you can visit our website page that we have established through Google Queen Arise Network dot org and um, just let me know you're there give us a rating um, we mostly are on the Facebook media I already established a YouTube um, account for the Queen Arise Network, but I want to take this time to talk about good success. Good success is not self-driven. Good success is God-driven. And uh, ask yourself the question today, your dreams, your visions, whatever you have put on the table as your plans for your life, for your your marriage, for your family, for your business, for your academic growth and expansion, is it God-driven or self-driven? And so the recipe for success, I truly believe that you have to be God-driven. You find that a lot of people have gotten a lot of accolades uh, get into a certain caliber of people because of their education, their influence who they know and um, and we sometimes as Christians, as believers, we go to church but we still have this self-driven mindset but I believe the one who creates the universe, the one who woke you up the one that caused you to breathe, who gave you life, should be the center of every area of your life. And so good success is the reward of walking in obedience to the Lord. Good success is God-given and success is self-driven. Now, what do you have on the table that you need to accomplish? It's now the 24th of October. 2019 but if you look not just ahead of you <laughs> but what you have implemented or planned or outlined to this point was it self-driven or God-driven amen and so you can have a lot of ideas networks can be created connections can be created <laughs> You can study anything in the world. You can marry anyone you want in the world. You can go anywhere in the world. You can start any business you want in the world. 
but is it God driven or self driven is the ideas the thoughts your position right now who you're connected to was that all driven out of self or was it God driven good success the recipe for success good success is the reward of walking in obedience to the Lord Psalm 32 verse 8 says that the Lord will do what I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go and guide you with my eyes and so if you are in a relationship with the Lord you're not just getting on your knees and praying you're yielding yourself to the Holy Spirit and so we can go to Romans chapter 8 you can read the entire chapter you know Romans chapter 5 Paul to walk in this grace by faith Romans 8 are you led of the Spirit or are you walking in your flesh because every day as you yield yourself to God you mortify the deeds of the flesh and you're walking the spirit and so what happened is that if we're not careful we can be misguided by the world system that influence our minds to think that if we pursue goals just pursue them just go after them go get her that's fine I'm a go get about everything that God God does he does it in order and we have to first submit to him our will our emotions our intellect so it's okay that you have goals and dreams but if we allow the world system to misguide us to think that we can pursue these goals dreams and visions then we will have what appears to be success no God has commanded us through his holy scripture that once we obey his will he will gladly give us good success in every area of our lives I can truly testify to good success um, I've been saved 23 plus years and I've been living in the United States of America to 16 years yes and yes there is trials yes there is test yes there is setbacks but I recognize that when the Lord took me into this country he gave me Joshua chapter 1 hmm. and if you read the entire chapter of Joshua chapter 1 you'll recognize a few things in that chapter that Moses now was dead and God told Joshua that every place the sole of his foot tread upon that I have given unto you as I said unto Moses examine the history of the journey of the Israelites through the wilderness Joshua was right there with Moses through thick and th thin he never detoured never de <laughs> he never diverted from his assignment so when it was time for promotion elevation good success God established his promise and visited Joshua and promised to him that though his servant is dead he Joshua anywhere he goes everywhere you put your foot you will possess it and he described in verse 4 of Joshua chapter 1 from the wilderness to this Lebanon even to the great river all the lands of the Hittites the river Euphrates unto the great sea all this to the going down of the sun shall be yours your coast verse 5 there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life there was a shift taking place and he was in position as I was with Moses he said he told him so I will be with thee I will not fail thee nor forsake thee he told him be strong and have a good courage in verse 6 and told him I'm gonna use you to establish others divide the inheritance among the people as he had promised the forefathers and he told him again in verse 7 like he said in verse 6 only be thou strong and very courageous he told him observe everything according to all the law which Moses my servant command thee and he said turn not from the right nor to the left that thou mayest prosper 
talking about good success, prosper with a sober thou goest. Now from verse 3 coming down to verse 7, you see God establishing the prophetic promise concerning Joshua's prophetic destiny, divine destiny. But verse 8, as we're talking about good success, God-driven success comes by obeying God, walking in obedience to God. Verse 8 says, this book of law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do what? According to all that's written in it therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, your path, your direction. When you obey the word of the Lord, when you live by it, when you practicalize it in your life, he shall make your way prosperous. God says that. And then thou shalt have what? good success the last two words of verse 8 joshua chapter 1 is good success prosperous way and good success come by walking in obedience to the lord and i can testify to that i've been living here for 16 years i've been saved over 23 plus years and i'm telling you all god taught me through all the trials the tests the refining fire process mighty God you have to remain obedient people can highlight their achievements their goals their academic excellence their prosperity and their success but is it good success is it the one that is God driven is it the one that, that you at attain or achieve or acquire or receive by walking in obedience. You see, people evaluate just success by tangible assets or, or a certain caliber that you're in. Good success is a reward of walking in obedience. Now, I'm establishing business three years approximately, but it was a plan that I've had in place since 2013, June 1st, when I acquired the lease for this building. Now I'm at this place of transition in the business and in my, my spiritual work. But you still have to maintain obedience no matter what the circumstances around you. Now it was a struggle. There were some great, intense spiritual battles just to get this business up and running i'm not talking just about physical challenges i'm talking about spiritual challenges i'm talking about expecting you know the outcome that those you're pouring to be there to stand with you or to pro to provoke you to go forward sometimes when you're called to good success you will not find the help you need and i hear in my spirit They'll be just as good as dead like Moses. They're dead. And all you have to rely on is what God says. What God says. What God says. In his word. His promise. Mm-hmm. Yes. Moses was dead. And God said, yo, time to get up. Time to move forward. Time to shift. So I come to encourage somebody today. Good success is a reward of walking in obedience. Do you want to see your way prosperous? Are you looking for an opportunity to to grow or to enlarge <laughs> hallelujah your business your spiritual walk your spiritual connections hallelujah god don't call fools and make them remain fools you may come as a fool but he make you wise and the wisdom of god comes through the word of god not through a crowd or who you're connected to joshua remain obedient submitting to authority doing whatever he was told to do never trying to show himself superior over moses he humbled himself when it was time for expansion and uh promotion and to catapult in the supernatural god download revelation to joshua god download a greater mantle upon his life and some people you're turning to they are good as dead <laughs> they're not awakened to your destiny and 
they have gotten to a certain point in their life where they are stuck because of their disobedience, uh, listening to what others say, like Moses wavered at the promise too many times over until he did what others, world system mentality, what others want him to do instead of what God wants him to do. I'm here to tell you, nothing to rebel against anyone in authority because Joshua didn't do that. And he didn't pull down Moses because he disobeyed God. But he humbly served even in the midst of opposition, warfare, depression, discouragement. So that's why God told him in verse 6 and verse 7, be strong of a good courage. And in verse 9, he told him again, be strong of a good courage. When you get a promise from God, there will be discouragement. There, why God tend to be strong? Because there's going to be some things that come to, to put pressure on you to feel weak. To, to, to give up on the promise, to give up on the business idea, the vision, because who you thought would be there to collaborate with you, to support you. Some of them start out with you, and all of a sudden you don't see them no more. It's okay, because God is doing a, a new thing in your life, and everything works together for good. But I come to encourage somebody, get back on track. Get back on track. Get up, man. Get out of this grieving mentality. Tell God you want to get out of this grieving mentality. And stop looking at what went wrong or who did wrong. If you focus on those areas, you'll never go forward. Something God taught me in September in his presence. And it's, it's new revelation because sometimes we are taught, don't vent, don't complain. And sometimes we do share with others how we feel, what's going on. And the Holy Spirit came to me and said, daughter, as of this day, I'll never forget. I went down for my sister's um, medical uh, procedure. And he said, the Tuesday after I landed, he said, vent to me, whine to me, complain to me. Because some of the people you, you turn your eyes to, my brothers and sisters, to vent and complain and whine to, spiritually, they can't help you up. Spiritually, they're dead. <laughs> like Moses is dead. Spiritually, they have lost their focus. They have lost their first love. Spiritually, they have aborted their destiny like Moses did. Mm-hmm. So God chose somebody else. He couldn't enter the promise. Though he was a man of faith. Though he did great, greater works than many other men and prophets before our time has done. He could not lead the people into the promise. God is looking for a Joshua generation who want to experience good success. And that requires walking in obedience. I pray today that you'll just yield to the spirit of God. That you'll humble yourself. And submit to God's plan. Ask him to redirect you. Feel like you have strayed. Ask him to bring clarity and precision back to your life. In every area that you want to pursue a goal or a dream. Or you have a vision. Even back to your marriage. Ask him to bring you back to that place. Where you don't try to fight with your spouse anymore. But you submit to the Holy Spirit. You submit to the word of God. Let the word, word of God govern your relationships. Whether it be marital, familial personal you're in courtship right now whatever your plans are get back on track he did not call you to ro roam and wander in, wander in the wilderness the wind the wilderness wandering cannot continue this is october and in on a jewish calendar it's a season where you go back and reset and refresh and rekindle your fire with god in the presence of god you are a Christian. You are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. It's time to go to another level. If you believe you are walking in obedience to him, good. Hallelujah. I come to remind you, stay obedient to God. But if you don't know him as your Lord and Savior today, and you have great dreams, vision, even already started your business, redirect your business now to be God-driven. Ask him to come into your heart and be the center of your business, be the center of your family, be the center of your life if you don't know him as Lord and Savior. And so, Lord, I pray this afternoon, as everyone watching this, that they will refresh them, renew them, encourage them, strengthen them, give them holy boldness, regardless of who is with them or not, that they'll remain obedient with, for, for your glory, obedient to the plans you have downloaded to them. Oh, God, I pray for clarity and precision for every idea that pops in the head. Cause them to recognize that there is an initial and a unique divine destiny that you will impart and birth through them 
and with that all the ideas as popping in the air will begin to fall in place give them clarity as to what is to be birthed first give them clarity how to expand or grow their business or to or grow their marriage or to grow their relationship with their with their family in their business or in their ministry or where if you position them to serve God, I pray for radical obedience in this season upon every believer that is a, has a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Because many believe in God but have no connection to the source, which is the blood of Jesus, which is the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for supernatural imposition against every forces of darkness, every evil dart. Come up against those who strive towards a God-driven God mentality. God consume every altar right now with our name on it, our children's name, our destiny. God turn back every wrong, unrighteous decree prophesied over our lives. Break the Assyrian yoke from off our business, off our neck, off our children's neck. I prophesy, God, as you spoke to me yesterday, for the last 24 hours, God, I decree, God, extreme favor for those who are willing to rise up and walk into radical obedience i prophesy extreme favor for extreme obedience in the name of jesus i decree extreme excess favor oh god for those who are willing to go above and beyond to walk circumspect to walk according to the law the word of the lord that it will not depart out of their mouth god but cause them to meditate, meditate day and night upon your word. Because your word declares in Joshua 1 8, therein they will have, you'll make our way prosperous, and therein we will have good success. So I speak, oh God, extreme favor for extreme, for excess obedience, for overflow of the love of God flowing through our hearts to walk in obedience that we'll just encounter that same extreme, excess abundance of uncommon favor in every aspect i decree god almighty that you have arisen this day hallelujah to manifest yourself like never before as you did for joshua do it for us those in the middle of wandering whether to turn back to go left or right cause them to remember this scripture that he told joshua look not to the left nor right hallelujah hallelujah but to focus on the promise even those who you expect to be there for you that seem like you're good as dead you can't find them they can't respond to you god i love that because he want you to be strong of good courage and rely totally on the power of the holy spirit to direct your life i bless you today and i pray that you will arise and walk in good success and that comes by walking obedience check check your life and see are you walking obedience are you obeying god's will for your life Hallelujah. Why prosper with self-driven mentality? I want the prosperity. I want the success. I want good success that comes with knowing that I'm in the center of God's will. That I, as for me and my house, we are serving the Lord by walking in obedience. Share this today with someone. Like and follow the Queen Arise Network. Amen. And stay tuned for even more inspiration. God bless you.